Welcome back to Golf Quest, everyone. If you're a simulator user like me, chances are you know about the Bertie Golf Tees. Today, we're going to take a look at its upgraded version, the Bertie Pro Speed. We're going to see what the differences are and also try to determine if it's worth the slight increase in price that it's going to cost you. To get things started, a quick introduction to what Bertie's are all about. Bertie's are like the preeminent golf tee for golf simulators. I personally tried a few different uh, things in my golf simulator. I've tried rubber tees off of Amazon. They're okay, but they only have three heights and I didn't really like any of the heights. They're also a little bit heavy uh, when you hit it, you know, you feel it with your club. So it's not light like a normal tee and they break pretty quickly actually. So I wasn't a huge fan of the rubber tee. I also used real tees back when I had my Country Club Elite mat, which were okay. Um, however, I don't even have my Country Club Elite mat anymore because it was hurting my body. So that's pretty much out. I now use a fiber built mat. So really I need a tee that works on that. And the best tee by far is the Burr tee. Now, Burr tees come in different sizes. They have a size stamped on the inside of the tee. And fun fact, if you take that inside number and divide it by four, that's how tall the T is. So here I have the number four, if I divide that by four, it's one, so this is a one inch high T. Here we have the number five T and number seven. And it goes from one all the way up to eight as the highest. So typically drivers would use a six, seven, or eight. Uh, there's different colors. I find for Skytrack, black works the best. Learn that the hard way, but I find that you get the best reads with the black color. So I'm gonna put these, these for, from an original set that I had, I'm gonna put those aside. And today we're talking specifically about the upgraded version of the Bertie called the Bertie Pro Speed. Now on the cover, it says enhanced flexibility and durability. And that's great because if there's one knock on the Bertie, it's that they're not cheap, they're not overly priced, they're reasonably priced, but they do break. I mean, they're plastic tees, so what can you expect? Tees break over time. Now, fun fact, originally Bertie's were not designed for golf simulators. They were designed for outdoor play and they're still used for outdoor play. They give a consistent tee height, you don't have to push a tee into a hard ground, so it makes it easier for maybe the elderly or for young kids to use rather than a normal tee, and it gets that tee height consistent every time. However, even when speaking to the president of Bertie Golf, I have learned that the majority of their sales now comes from people using it for golf simulator use. The thing with simulator use is that they're used a lot more probably than they would be if you were just using them for normal rounds outside. So they tend to break down faster, but really it still takes hundreds of hits to break them typically. So anything that brings enhanced durability and flexibility would be a welcome change. So let's dive into the differences here. So I have the, the number seven package of regular Berties. And then I've got a new eight pack of the Bertie Pro Speeds. And we're gonna take a look at the differences. So here we go, this is the Bertie Pro Speed coming out now. So here are the different sizes. Just lay them out here for you and we'll take a look at the differences. All right, so there are the sizes of the new Bertie Pro Speeds. And here is an original uh, size seven of the original Bertie Pro. Okay, so I'm gonna put these other Berties aside for a second, and we're just gonna focus on the size seven. Now, right out of the gate, we can notice a couple of things. They're exactly the same height. So the height hasn't changed at all. Uh, they're both exactly the same height as you would expect. The next thing that's a little bit different though is the diameter of the base. The base on the new Berte Pro Speed is actually slightly smaller than the original. Not much, but slightly smaller. So it's just a, just a little bit different there. The next difference is if I kind of squeeze these, the original Berte Pro is a lot more rigid. When I squeeze the new Berte Pro Speed, there's a lot more flex there. A lot more flex with the same amount of pressure. So right away, this is a more flexible grade of plastic. Now the reason for that is when I talked to Mario Kaya, the president of Bertie Golf, he explained that originally they wanted to use a more flexible material for the Bertie, but 
The original design is very intricate. And so what happened when they used a more flexible plastic in the molds is that when they took it out, it would break apart. It wouldn't actually hold this intricate design with a more flexible plastic. So they had to go to a slightly more rigid plastic. The new design isn't as intricate. So if you take a look at it, you can see a few other differences in the design itself. There's not as many holes and there's not as many legs. That's a big difference. So here we have some spiral legs running down the side. And here we have spiral legs running down the original Bertie. The original Bertie Pro has 12 legs. The new design, only six. Now, because it only has six, they're wider. It's almost double the leg. In fact, I might even say it's more than double, but it's certainly wider. Now, typically when the original Bertie would break, it would break near the top. So here's an old Bertie that I've been using for a while. And see what happens is one of the legs snaps and then the one next to it kind of becomes compromised as well. And before you know it, they all start to uh, rip apart one by one. As soon as one gives way, the whole thing isn't as strong anymore. So by making the new legs wider, you create much, a much stronger bond. Plus, you'll also notice that the legs kind of joined at the top, but here they're joining with a thicker band around the top as well. Okay, so the area that the legs are joined together is thicker, the legs themselves are thicker. Plus, as we already talked about, the design isn't as intricate and therefore they can use this much more flexible plastic. So smaller, slightly smaller diameter, thicker legs, less legs, and a much more flexible plastic for the design. All of that combined should give us more durability, more flexibility, and more life for our Berties. So we're seeing less of this, at least less frequently. Maybe have to replenish them a little less frequent as well. So that's great news. So in theory, sounds great. Looks great, love the feel of them. I'm excited to use them, but how much of a difference is it? A typical two pack for any size, any color, straight from the Bertie website is $9.99 Canadian. The Bertie Pro Speed was $12.99 Canadian. So an increase of $3. So is it worth the $3 increase to bump up to the Bertie Pro Speed? Well, that's what we wanna find out. So here's what I'm gonna do. For the next little while, I am going to alternate drives between these two tees. And I'm gonna take a tally sheet and I'm going to painstakingly check off every time I use one. And I'm gonna alternate back and forth, back and forth. So they're used on the same days with the same kind of swing that I'm not changing from week to week. And we're gonna see how long it takes before we start to see some wear on the original Bertie Pro and maybe how long we take to see some wear or even cracking on the new Bertie Pro Speed. And we're gonna compare the numbers. But my first instinct is that the Bertie Pro Speed is gonna last quite a bit longer, just again, because of that flexibility and because of the new design. So I'm excited to use them. Let's jump into the testing and then we'll go over the results. All right, it took a lot of hits with the driver, but after 255 hits each, this is what the Berties now look like. So after 255 hits, here is the original Bertie Pro. You can see that there's a significant crack. It's not gonna last much longer. I'm definitely gonna get a few more hits out of it. The back is still pretty solid, but there is a crack that runs more than halfway around it now, so it's only a matter of time before this top part snaps off. And again, that was after 255 hits. After 255 hits on the new Bertie Speed Pro, you can see we have a little bit of fraying of the plastic along the very top edge, and that's about it. Not a crack in sight. Looks almost identical to what we originally had out of the package. Again, just a little bit of fraying around the top edge, and that is it. Still nice and flexible, and it's gonna, I mean, I can keep using this for quite some time. All right, so there you have it. So the Bertie Speed Pro has not cracked yet. And I was tempted to keep going and track and 
not release this video until we finally did see a crack, but then I started to worry that that might take me a really, really long time. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep tracking the Bertie Speed Pro and see how many hits it does take before finally I see an actual crack in the plastic. And when that happens, eventually I will release another video giving you an update on how many hits it actually was able to withstand before it cracked. So stay tuned for that video, but it might take a while. In the meantime, I think it's pretty safe to say that the small jump in price is well worth the value based on how the Bertie Speed Pro still looks. Uh, and I'm excited to see how long it actually ends up lasting. If you're new to the channel and you consider subscribing, that would be a big help. All you have to do is hit that little subscribe button in the corner. It's totally free and it would be a big help for our channel. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time on Golf Quest.